Salutations guys, this is Dante Solarblood. I'm back and welcome to Resource Pack Roundup. So guys, today I'm looking at New World by Scamper3396 and it's a doozy of the pack. Uh, looking just a bit different from the um, default pack. Now starting at the brick ship house as normal, you can see that the jungle planks have been replaced with this luscious graph paper effect block here. Our red brick is replaced with a lovely speckled concrete and um, all the flora and fauna is looking relatively alien including um, my fern is now a tentacle monster. Going through the space doors you can see a very futuristic inside. We have got a digital clock and an electric compass, a Cylon dispenser, dropper, hopper and a microwave furnace here with a lovely starscape in the background. Uh, we have our cauldron, our jukebox, and our trap chest, with again a lovely starscape. Now, I will say, there is no difference between the trap chest and the regular chest, so buyer beware. Our jukebox looks vanilla, but then these are normally hidden in most maps, so fair enough. And we have a lovely space age ender chest. Props to the creator for even updating the anvils. and. Uh, I love the little taste of home pack picture here and our space panel there. Our a crafting bench looks like it's glowing and pumping out tools and kits as we speak. And our crafting and our um, brewing stand has a very simple UI. Maybe another Starscape is due to go there. And the enchanting table, well, it always has alien language. Whatever. <laughs> Heading to the beds, these do not work together at all, but then. Surely space people normally sleep alone. Poor space people. And so we head out to have a look at our animals. So let's call a Sebastian. Sebastian. Here is Sebastian, our doggy, and he is <laughs> full cyborg. Booyah, with his one cute eye and his red eye of death over there. We look at Alita, who is looking very Tron-esque with um, a big Chisha smile. 100 kudo points for giving the cat a skin though. Here we have our NPC. Uh, this is our scientist with a K29. And you can hear the robot -y noises in the background. This pack has full sound. Metal dust blast doors there. And we have all of our army here. So we have... um, Oh! We have the um, cast offs here from the Deadpool convention. For our creepers. We have evils floating cyborgs of doom for our skellies here. Very noisy too. And we have cybermen for our um, zombies. And by the way, do notice that all throughout the screen you can see in the corners um, a lovely um, pentagon UI. Okay, here are our NPCs who have all been assigned new missions. So we have our baker droid, we have our medic, we have our K-35s. So they all have reassigned jobs. We have our witches, or the infected, as they're also known on um, um, Scamper's page. And we have our spiders with our regular spider keeper, known as our luminous spiders, for their um, big camera face. Now we jump up onto our picture post here, and you can see all of the pictures are very space age. We've got our planets, we've got our Earth. We also have radar screens, which are a nice touch. And we have a little bit of patriotism um, popping in there. <laughs> nice to know that even in the future, or in the alien world, uh, you still have time for the red, white and blue. Okay, and our slimes here are, well, bubblegum flavour. Now we head on down to the mobs here. And before we have a look at them, say hello to our brand new farmer. Hello. <laughs> heading over. Now the mushrooms normally have evil buzzed out of drugged up eyes but today they have a slotty face and they're evil I tell you! Evil glowing mushrooms! Our chickens looking very leathery but props to the pigs for being floating le floating alien pigs uh, who obviously drank a bit too much because they're um, completely legless. <laughs> okay we have a modified sheep who's um Faces are all jagged and knife edge, so for all of you um, Welsh people out there, please stay away. And we have what are called bovine units. They're metallic robot um, cows 
with uh, slotty faces. Look like you could dry your hands on their faces. And our squid is looking, well, very much squiddy. Now looking at the farmer's patch, we have our pumpkins, which um, are very plain, boring blocks, but very good for building, I suppose. Our um, lily pads have seen better days, but it's our nutritional mellowed flavoured blocks here, which look both tasty and, well, boring at the same time. <laughs> and oh yeah, not to forget the jack-o'-lanterns here have a lovely animated atom or planet celestial kind of image here. Now hopping past the forest, we've got our mechanicals. So we have regular piston, a blue a glooped sticky piston, lovely fizz on the redstone there. Hopping up past the TNT, we also have a very plain redstone lamp. But then, that's kind of right for a space theme. And my personal piece of resistance is the beacon beam of binary. Let's hop in there. And indeed, Doctor, you could only fix the TARDIS if it wasn't for the binary, 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 binary. And let's hop down to the Cave of Wonders. And you can see, despite the vast differences in colours, everything does kind of fit together. And even better are the, is the amount of work that's gone onto these icons here. So you can see we have our coal, we have our steel, of iron, sorry. And we have the eye from HAL 9000, which is a very space age. Uh, rogue computer, please get on with the review, review Dave. Uh, okay, I'll do that. And oh yeah, for our Torch fans, looking like looking very much like something from uh, Tech It or Feed the Beast, we have a blue torches. Okay, heading to the forest. You can see our um <laughs> our knitted leaves like some sort of um big jumper, uh, and we have a kind of a speckled, spacey, very geometric pattern for the bark. The uh, planks themselves have a lovely veiny, purpley, violety colour. It's absolutely delightful. And we still have rings in the wood. Hopping to our spruce here again, the same knitted pattern leaves, but this time we have a more rocky uh, igneous or well, not sedimentary, but a more rocky type of bark here. We lose the rings, and with less of a veiny kind of look, it's much more violet. We have um, much more of a bug splatter kind of leaf here, but we have kind of um, a cityscape kind of bark. Um, New York, New York, it's a wonderful place. And again, lovely, delicious graph paper there. I love that clean look. And finally, here we are with a birch, which looks like a spaghetti stick with um, actual wooden bark there, but and rings back again, but this time a more of a stone block for the wood. Heading over to our liquids, we have a um, very a goopy grey liquid here, but very fast moving. Jumping to the lava, it looks more like a semi-frozen mercury kind of gloop liquid there, so you'd rather get a cold burn than a lava burn. And finally, for our cactus lovers, Boom! <laughs> With a floating pig to boot. Now you know what's coming next, guys. Let's go to the nether. And here we are, and as things load in, you can see a drastic difference. This looks rather than a hot burning heck, more like um, a heavenly white heaven. So, let's start with our blocks. We have our netherrack. Nether brick. Nether quartz all of a rainbow fashion and the rest of the quartz. And we have some sort of weird robot soul prison soul sand. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be, but props to you guys for letting me think that. And although I didn't notice before, Glowstone has a lovely pale pulse to it. Almost as if something's alive in there. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> getting back to our mobs, we'll just put some blazes in there too. You can see we have cold magma cubes, we have electric blue blazes and some sort of centurion there for the pigmen. I do love that sword there. Our cast looks more like a shellgon from Pokemon crossed with a computer. It just looks so different. Let's uh, head up to the main nether. And here we are guys, a pale pixel perfect pack. You can see the whites with the off whites with a lovely electric mercurial blue down there 
uh, a little bit off with the um, green gravel, but this is lovely. Very reminiscent of heaven in um, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey for you um, older fans out there. I absolutely love this. It all just is really, really cohesive and working together. As we head down, obviously this pack is a glorious pack. There's no, there's no advice on how to use it on the main website, but this is perfect for an adventure pack for you spacefarers. Uh, let's head to the Judgment. Here we are, the final area. And our cakes here have been turned into many packs. You can eat slice by slice. Hopping over to the Ender Stronghold. It looks less like an ancient um, Fort of Doom and more like a Medi Bay with maybe um, cryo tubes. Jumping up on the Ender Portal, you can see the little patterned eye there on the glowing electric blocks. And the actual Ender Stone itself looks a lot like the um, holodeck from Star Trek, but being a space theme, you've got to have a holodeck. And our sponge here has been reassigned into a, a lovely foam rubbery kind of look. And it's also now our area of judgment. As a trilobite over there floats in and out. This pack is a glorious pack. Everything has been thought about. Every single diesel has been done. This is perfect for adventures or just somebody who loves their sci-fi. You can use the nether as a spaceship and the overworld as your alien world. Well, this is Dante Soulblood giving a big thumbs up to this pack. Please follow the link and give Scamper his full credit. TTFN, see you next time dudes. Bye bye.